Hey guys, this is Jared with Express Screen on uh, this Tip Tuesday, and um, had a couple people call and ask or have questions about mesh count. What exactly makes mesh count? Um, what is the number made of? What does the mesh count mean? Uh, so I thought I might explain a little bit about mesh count and what exactly that number means, 70, 120, 200, 180. We've got a lot of different mesh counts out there. Um, just like with your conventional or traditional screen printing systems, your mesh count is the same as what theirs would be. It's just based on uh, metric versus English. So um, meter, centimeter, millimeter versus inch. So um, our 70 count mesh is going to be the equivalent to a 110 conventional screen. Okay, so if you were to look at the 70 mesh underneath an eye loop, I've created a little sketch drawing here for you. Um, if you were to look at this, uh, look at the mesh through the through an eye loop. Imagine the uh, lines here. That's your actual threads, um, or actually your uh, the thread count. That's where we get the thread count from. Um, so if we were to look at this and we were able to count 70 threads per centimeter, um, this would be our 70 mesh. Um, as you go up in mesh count, so next highest would be, uh, depending on what system, either the 100 or the 120 mesh, um, or like with our GoCo Pro uh, series, we go all the way up to the 200 mesh. All right, so you can see with this, there's a lot more lines there and so therefore with those lines you're going to be able to maintain a smaller detail so like the middle of an A let's say just that little part uh, on the inside with a with a 70 count mesh there's a good chance if that A was very small that ink is going to fill in and you're not going to know that it's an A it's going to look like an upside down TP or, uh, um, and so that that's why it's called dot game um, that's why you would want a higher mesh count in order to maintain your finer finer lines and finer detail. All right. Uh, the other thing that is a good benefit of 200 mesh is 200 mesh is actually the strongest mesh that we have, meaning that it is going to last you for the longest run possible. The reason for that, and if you think about it, it's actually pretty logical. Um, 70 threads per inch or per centimeter per meter you know whatever your 70 threads that is going to only give you so much surface area okay so those threads there's only 70 of them there and so there's only so much surface area of those threads for our coating our heat sensitive coating to apply to well obviously when we go to the 200 mesh there are many many more uh, threads there and with those threads comes surface area and so therefore with that extra surface area there there is more for the coating to actually adhere to or to glue they're actually laminated together or glued together and so there's actually more for the coating to actually be glued to um, surface area wise so when if you're trying to think about what the strongest mesh possible is um, it's actually going to be our 200 mesh um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit real quick about mesh count, what it is, what it's made up of, how we use it. Most of our customers do use the 70 mesh, whether or not they're using the Screen Maker 1000, the GoCo Pro 100, or the GoCo Pro QS 200. Uh, a good majority of them are still using 70. Um, I am seeing a little bit of a change into customers going into 120, just to maintain a little bit better detail uh, with halftone images and things like that. So. Um, hopefully this shed a little bit of light on you guys being able to, to determine what mesh count to be able to use. If you're not sure, definitely give me a call. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, or if you have other questions just in general about mesh, uh, give me a shout. The number here, of course, is 800-597-9530. Uh, be here most of the entire week. I do head out the end of this week. But uh, if you guys have questions, give me a shout. Shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to you and uh, and help you out. Hope you guys have a great uh, great rest of the week and hope you hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. We'll talk to you next week, guys. Thanks.